everyone! Welcome to this Friday's Renee of Paris Instagram Live. My name is Abby. I am the Alopecia Ambassador for the Renee of Paris channel, so the YouTube and the Instagram, so I'm really excited to be here today. It's my second live on the channel, so uh, yeah, I do lives on here every other Friday so far, and it might uh, change to every Friday, but right now, every other Friday, I'm here to talk about different wig styling tips um, and makeup tips and stuff like that, specifically pertaining to someone with alopecia. So I do have alopecia. I've had alopecia since I was about two years old, and I've been wearing wigs pretty much consistently since the age of seven. So I think a lot of the other people we have on our channel and our social media platforms that come live on here, like Alexander and Dan uh, Danny, they talk about stuff with the wigs from the perspective of someone uh, who's like more of a professional wig stylist and hairstylist. So they have really professional tips, but I kind of like to talk about it from the perspective of somebody who deals with hair loss. So I kind of look at it from a different angle. Uh, Kristen said, love this wig on you. Thank you so much. So this wig is actually Kayla in Mocha Brown. It's one of the new Amore wigs. It's such a beautiful style. And in today's live, I'm going to focus on turning a daytime look to a nighttime look, look specifically talking about this wig, different ways to style it, as well as different ways to adjust my makeup as well. So I'm going to start with talking about the daytime look. So this is kind of a look um, already that I'm wearing now that I would wear maybe to like work one day or like a daytime look, just trying to look um, just, this is an easier makeup look for if you're like going to work in the morning, you don't have time to put on a full face. Typically if I am going to work, um, really I just get out of bed and put on like my eyebrows and maybe like a little bit of concealer. And sometimes I do wear a bit of eyeliner if I'm going to like work one day or something, just something a lot simple, much simpler than this. I am wearing fake lashes right now, which I think to make any makeup look look just like that much better and that much more done up. Um, typically I don't always wear fake lashes every single day, even though I don't have my own eyelashes as someone with alopecia. Um, but I did put them on now for this video because I'm going to be transitioning this to a nighttime look and I didn't want to attempt to put on fake lashes on stream just yet because I feel like if I messed that up, how funny would that be if I just got like lash glue in my eye and had to like emergency stop the stream. <laughs> um, you look amazing. That looks so natural. The color is great. Thank you so much, Alexander. <laughs> um, thank you for watching this, by the way. One of our other um, hosts on here, one of our social media spokespeople. Um, so again, this is Kayla from the brand new Amore collection. This beautiful wavy style in mocha brown. Okay, so I guess I will start talking about uh, the makeup I'm already wearing now for the daytime look and then talk about how, let's say for example, like I was at work one day and I got a text from my friends and they were like, hey, let's like go out after work today on Friday night. Let's go like grab a few drinks or maybe like get dinner in the city. I might want to spice up my makeup and hair look a little bit, but I don't necessarily have time to go home and change. Um, this is like kind of how I would transition my makeup from a uh, daytime look to a nighttime look. Right now, if I was just doing just the daytime look, I would do just a very simple brow because since I have alopecia, I actually don't really have brows. If you do look really closely, I do have some tiny, tiny baby hairs, but they're like basically invisible. So this is just completely brow product right now. And I will talk about how I achieve that and make it look realistic, even though I don't have any eyebrows. And then also for my daytime look, I'd probably just wear um, either nothing on my eyes if I don't feel like doing anything, or occasionally um, if I am, if you like, if you do have alopecia and you do not have your own eyelashes and you want to kind of like hide it, but you're not super comfortable putting on lashes, like fake lashes, one tip that I love is what I used to do for years when I was more self-conscious about my alopecia is just black eyeliner or any sort of like liquid liner really kind of covers that area of your eye so that if you do have um, eyelash hair loss, you're trying to cover just eyeliner kind of like masks it in a way because it kind of looks like it could be like maybe mascara covering. But yeah, um, or if I am trying to wear like a more natural lash, maybe I'll wear like a really, really simple lash for my daytime look. So if I was to if I was to transition that to a nighttime look, I'd probably just add some eyeshadow, maybe like a darker lipstick, and I'm going to do that towards in a little bit. But first, I'm going to talk about daytime wig look. You could do endless styling things with this wig, because first of all, it's got a really nice medium length. Really beautiful style. I love the waves. And it's also very versatile because the cap is hand tied. Uh, it's got lace front from temple to temple. And it is a 100% hand tied um, top. So you do have versatility with like changing the part and stuff. So you do have a lot of flexibility with styling this. Again, it is synthetic, so you can't use heating tools on it. Um, but you, there's still, that at least still leaves you a lot of flexibility and stuff you can do even without being able to use tools because you can use like any sort of like hair clips or tie it back. 
and I'm probably just going to show you a couple of those today. So, and so here's it down. You can obviously wear it down for a nice daytime look as well. But let's say, for example, you're at work and you work with your hands a lot or something and you want to just keep your hair out of your face. You can totally just tie this back in a ponytail, just nice and simple, just using a regular hair tie. You don't need to use anything special. And because it is lace front, if you wanted to, you can even like brush it back. That's the nice thing about lace front wigs is that if you want to do brushed back hair looks, you still get that nice realistic looking hairline still. It's so like a nice simple ponytail is always such an easy style if you wanted to wear this to work one day and you wanted to keep the hair out of your face. It's just nice and easy. So that's one like super easy daytime style if you're wearing it to work. A couple other cute ones if you want to do with something a little bit more interesting than just a ponytail. Um, you could put it in a braid, for example. If you're doing um, something styling like a braid, maybe just use your wig brush or comb and just brush it really gently. With the curls, you want to be particularly gentle because you don't want to, um, I don't know, brush them too hard, but you can still be, you can still brush it like relatively normally, just be a little more gently. Or you could even brush like one curl at a time so it just kind of bounces back. That's the beauty of synthetic wigs is synthetic curly wigs, the curls will just bounce back and stay nice looking. Even after you wash them, uh, after it dries, the curls will just come right back too, so you don't have to do any special styling to bring them back. But yeah, let's try this out in a braid and see how it looks. I do like side braids for like a work day because again, that's a great style to keep the hair out of your face. So I'm just gonna grab the hair in three pieces and just quickly do a cute little braid. Again, for anyone coming into the live now, I'm currently doing a daytime to nighttime look with this wig as well as a um, different makeup look as well. So I'm gonna do some makeup stuff in a minute. Let's grab a hair tie. Let's see. That looks really nice. I love it in the side braid. So that's really cute. That's a great style as well if you just want to keep the hair out of your face. If you want to, you can even do it straight back. For some reason, I love doing side braids. It's just, it's also easier for me personally because you can just kind of like pull it all to one shoulder and just work with it in front of you rather than having to like uh, braid it behind your head. However, that's the beauty of wearing wigs is if I wanted to, I could just like put it on a wig head and just style it behind the wig as well. But I think side braids are really cute. So that's another great office look. This I would even wear like outside of the office or like even if I was going out at night, this could be a nighttime hair look as well. I just think it's such a great style for keeping the hair out of your face too. Okay, so I think we should start moving into the nighttime look because I feel like that's where it's gonna be a little more fun. There are endless possibilities with both the makeup and the hair. So I'm definitely gonna show you guys a couple of awesome styles. But before I go on, let me just give you a couple more details about this wig. Again, Kayla from the new Amore collection in Mocha Brown. I love the brown color. It kind of reminds me of one of the colors like uh, Cappuccino, for example, which would just be like this dark color all around, but it's a little bit more dynamic because it has these really beautiful like gold streaks, but they're very subtle. They're kind of just like around the front of your face. And I think that's pretty much it, just kind of towards the front. And I think that's such a beautiful style without being like too over the top with streaks. Just like a nice little glow in the front. I think that's really, really pretty on this wig. And as far as the wig cap, I'll just show you guys the wig cap construction really quick. So again, I do have alopecia. So I have alopecia areata, so my hair is very patchy. Um, so I do wear wigs for that. But it has a lace front. You can see the cap up close. Hand-tied top, so you can change the part. And then here's the inside of the cap. Monofilament top, and then hand-tied all around here. Do you ever use hot tools in your wigs? Okay, so that's a good question. So with synthetic, you don't want to use hot tools because you can damage the hair. You want to be super, super careful about that. Make sure you like read all the labels that come with your wig and make sure your wig is able to have hot tools used on it. So most synthetics, this one for example, I would definitely not use any tools on because you can damage the hair. Um, obviously, if you have a human hair wig, you have a bit more flexibility. I would still be careful because if you damage the hair, you can still permanently damage your wig and no one wants to do that, of course, but so just be super careful like testing out heat if you are using human hair, just like on the back or something, make sure it works for your wig. Again, this wig, 
not heat friendly so be careful with that but there are heat friendly synthetics as well so you don't just have to have human hair wigs to be able to use hot tools you can also use it on heat friendly synthetic but again some of them most of them have like limits to how high you can go with the heat before damaging them so always check before using any tools and always try to use like as low heat as possible that'll actually work for the wig and always test it like on the back of the wig or something hey everyone that's coming in welcome welcome so anyone that's just coming in again, uh, oh, this style, someone asked if it has permatease. This wig does not have permatease. This has the double monofilament top. And yeah, this wig is beautiful. Okay, so again, anyone else coming in right now, I'm currently doing a daytime to nighttime look, both wig and makeup. So pretty much you have a lot of flexibility with what you want to do, and it really depends on your personal style. Me, personally, I already showed some of the styles that I'd wear maybe in the daytime with this wig, which would be just pulling it back in a ponytail or maybe putting it in a side braid, both great looks and really good for a work day because you can keep it out of your face if you're like working all day and don't want the hair falling in your face. Well, the good thing about this wig is it really doesn't fall on your face much to begin with, just to be, like as you can see, like if I was working, this wouldn't really bother me much. Or you could always put it behind your ear or something. Something else to note, um, Again, you can use just regular hair clips on your wigs. And if you ever wanted to just pull the hair back without doing an elaborate style, you could just take a regular bobby pin and pin it back like this. Also a really cute style. I think that just looks, it makes the, the waves look really dynamic, the way it kind of like falls like that. Because this wig is actually the same length all around too. Whereas I also wear a lot of wigs with side bangs and bangs, I love looks like that. And with those, sometimes I'll like clip the bangs out of my face sometimes. Okay, so let's move into some nighttime makeup look. Like if I was gonna go out with my friends after work one day, what I would like quickly add to bring my makeup look from a regular daytime look to more of a evening look. So let's see here. One thing I would start with, which is nice and easy, is eyeshadow. So let's just add a little bit of eyeshadow, maybe just add like some neutral colors, maybe like a nice rosy pink. Let's go with this color here. You can't really see that. <laughs> like this one. And I'm just gonna add, add it like in the crease of my eye. So you guys like my makeup brush, it's a little mermaid. <laughs> so I'm gonna add it in the crease of my eye, which is kind of just gonna be like up here. Normally, if I was starting my makeup from scratch, I would do my eyeshadow before doing any other eye makeup, like um, the fake lashes or the eyeliner. But if you are just transitioning a daytime look to a nighttime look, you can also just add some nice light eyeshadow in really quick. So you want to like dust your brush in and just tap it off, nice and gentle. And this one isn't like crazy pigmented, so it won't like totally cover up what I already have on and look crazy. It'll just be like nice and subtle. I think this rosy look is really nice with this wig as well. It's hard to tell how much the camera is picking that up, but I think you can already tell this eye just looks so much more like done up already, even just adding just that. Yeah, and it adds a nice little touch and it adds a bit more color to your face. Because again, for daytime looks, I don't necessarily, depending how much time I want to take getting ready before work or something, I don't always bother to put on like blush and contour and foundation and all that stuff for like a daytime look. But then for a nighttime look, it's fun to add a little bit more color. And I'll take this lighter shimmery color here. I don't know how much the shimmer is coming through, but I love like very subtle shimmery eyeshadows because they just add like a nice glow to your face, to your makeup look. So already that brought this really simple eye makeup look up to like more done up and a little bit more fun and fancy for like a night out. Add a little bit more of the pink in the crease again just to add a little bit more color. Yes, yeah, so that's already super cute. All right, let's add some blush. So again, I feel like my face is pretty much all one flat color right now because I don't I don't really bother to wear blush for like a daytime look. So I'd probably just put on like some concealer wherever I need it, maybe some like under eye concealer, and then just to add a little bit more um, color to my face, I might take a simple blush and add that in. 
I honestly love lots of blush. I just put it on the temples or the, te the temples, the, the like the apple of my cheek. <laughs> temples are up here, right? So apples of the cheeks down here. Some people recommend to like smile while putting it on so you're really hitting that part of your face. I think this hair color and style almost kind of like calls for a more dramatic makeup look. I think it's just like you can really bring this wig up to like a really like kind of sassy style if you have done up makeup. But that's the beauty of like styling in general is like if I'm wearing like minimum minimal makeup, this wig is really nice and cute and like great for like a less done up look. But then even if just like touching up your makeup, even if you don't do anything to the wig, the wig just looks super glamorous with a really done up makeup. I like to put some on my nose too. I feel like that's a trend lately. Now I just kind of do it out of habit, but it almost looks like you're cold or something, but I really like the look a lot. Something as for some reason, when I wear brunette wigs, I really like to do more contouring because I just feel like brunette looks like more of like a sassier color on me personally. Not sure why I associate it with that, but I feel like it just looks really good with a little bit more contour because it just makes my face look that much more like fierce. <laughs> Love it. What wig and color is it? So again, this wig is Kayla from the New Amore collection. Beautiful style. And it is in mocha brown. So again, it's pretty much this darker color. I think this is pretty similar to cappuccino, I would say. I'm not positive, uh, but I'm pretty sure like this base color is similar to the color cappuccino. And then uh, the mocha brown color has this really really pretty highlight added so i'm gonna do a little bit of contour just on my cheeks just really accentuate those uh, cheekbones i think i'm doing the makeup extra dramatic because i feel like it doesn't show up on camera as much Then you can always um, blend it out again with a brush with nothing on it too if you feel like the contour is a little too excessive. So that side might have gotten a little excessive, so I might take another brush and just kind of smooth it out a little bit. And then I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of nose contouring because I love the way that looks, but it is also kind of hard to do properly. But if you, um, it's kind of like a trend lately to do like nose contouring to make your nose look even smaller. Um, you can like kind of use some contour and just very lightly put it on the sides. It's kind of the same concept as contouring your cheeks. It just kind of makes everything look more like pointed and dramatic. Okay, so what else can we move on to? We could do some lipstick. Let's go with the dark lipstick color. I think dark lipstick with brunette hair is such an awesome look. Like such a good combo. So I'm gonna put on this kind of like dark red lipstick and that's gonna change the whole look of this wig. Just like watch how much that changes the look of this wig. Something so simple. Kind of like a basic red gloss. So that already also just makes the wig like that much more glamorous, which is like a nice color added. Now, I don't wear red lipstick very often, but I think it looks so fantastic with this color. My eyebrows kind of change a little bit from like week to week. I kind of just, depending on what style I feel like wearing on my brows. But again, because I have alopecia, my brows are pretty much like a blank slate. So it took me a few years to learn how to do my brows like nicely for my face. Um, but I do have a couple of tips to share with you guys. So during the day when I'm wearing a more simple look, I do like to go for a really natural brow look. So I kind of do it very, very lightly and just do very light streaks. I typically use like a pomade in a medium color because that way you can layer it. So I like using the medium color eyebrow pencil because if I am wearing a blonde wig, I can do it really light. And then if I am wearing a darker wig, if I just layer the brow product a bit more, then it's, it works for both types of hair colors. But I do feel like if I'm wearing a nighttime look, I do like to go for a slightly more arched and darker brow because I feel like it just adds a little bit of like sass to your nighttime look. So I am going to add a bit more brow product and make this brow a little bit more dramatic. So a fantastic uh, tip if you're not used to doing your brows for figuring out where to place them on your face is you can use like a straight line or your brush and line it up with your nose. 
Um, I, you can do it like from this part of your nose, line it straight up. That's pretty much where your eyebrow should end here. Line it up in the same place, go over your pupil, that's where your arch should be. And then line it up with the end of your eye, and that's where the end of your brow should be. So again, straight up from this part of your nose, that's where the eyebrow should start. And then the highest point of your brow, if you're lining it up with your pupil, so like from there in your nose, over your pupil, straight line, that's where, like, where the highest point of your brow should be. Does that make sense? So that's a really helpful tip for me. I used to be so bad at shaping my brows properly, um, and they would just, like, one would be way more arched, one would be, like, ending, like, over here, while this one ends over here. So, like, these tips really help me to kind of keep them more or less even. Another tip that's a really strange tip that I discovered is if I take a selfie with my smartphone and look at the picture, for some reason that helps me to see more clearly where my eyebrows are different from each other. Just because it's like looking in the mirror you can't always tell, but then if you look at the image on your phone, if you take a quick selfie, your eyebrows might look dramatically different in the picture, but that kind of helps me figure out if I have my eyebrows funky one day. Because even with all the experience I've had doing my brows, I still definitely do have some days where I mess them up. But because I am wearing a darker brunette color, I am just going to make the brows a little bit darker. So I'm gonna get, use a very, very little product because you can layer it. You don't wanna jump in and suddenly have like a really dark streak on your eye because it's not gonna look like natural. So just use a very light hand. Just kind of pull it up. And again, I'm gonna try to make these a little bit more arched because I think that would look good with this wig. So I'll just bring it up a little bit more as I go. And then we're gonna get into some fun hairstyles with this wig. So. Just like off the top of my head, some really cute styles I like for nighttime looks. I like to have fun with it. Sometimes I like to do my wigs like I look like a 90s pop star or something. Like I'll do some, some fun like ponytail on the wig. Or maybe like half up, half down. Abby is such a fantastic ambassador. Love all your tips and tricks. Thank you so much, Alexander. Again, another one of our spokespeople on the channel. Absolutely fantastic wig and hairstyling tips. You should definitely be sure to tune into his lives if you don't already. And again, if you aren't ever to make these able to like make these lives while we're live, we do also post them on our IGTV and we post all sorts of amazing videos on our YouTube channel, Rene of Paris. So definitely go check it out on there if you like our tips and tricks for wigs. So yeah, just get a nice angled higher arch in there and just make it look extra sassy. There we go. So even just using darker colors just makes your makeup look so much more sassy. So look how different that looks from the beginning already. Even just doing those really basic touches, you can bring a nice daytime look to a really nice nighttime look as well. So again, wearing the hair down is so glam already and I love the way these curls look. Like for example, if I was like going to like change my wig up. Like there's some days where I'll wear like a certain wig for daytime and then like switch to a different wig for nighttime because then you can just have like a perfect style just ready to go. But if you are going to be like transitioning the same wig from one style to another, you also have a ton of flexibility. Like if you're going straight from work out with your friends. So again, fantastic down. I love that. But one look I like to do for evening is just take a simple hair tie and instead of like a straight up ponytail, I'll do like a half ponytail because I think that just make, makes the hair look really dynamic and it's just a really fun look. Let's see. It's such a simple look too. I would definitely make sure your hair is like detangled before doing this because it'll just be that much easier to work with. Just use a nice like brush or comb. Let's see, but I just put it in a half ponytail. I think that's such a nice and easy look and it just makes it look really cute, kind of brings it out of your face a little more. This looks a little bit more dynamic. I do this look with so many of my wigs, I'm not sure why I'm so into it lately. Hopefully that looks even from the back, I can't really tell right now. Sometimes I will like um, use two mirrors to see the back or again, the beauty of the wigs, I could just like take this off and check. I love that aspect of wearing wigs. You can just literally like, if you want to make sure the back of your hair looks good, just take it off and take a look. So yeah, I love that hairstyle. So another great tip that I was just kind of thinking about the other day is how much of a role accessories play in bringing your style up from like a more casual look to a more done up look. 
is, especially with your hair, is earrings. So even though earrings aren't a hair accessory, they practically are because you're wearing them so close to your hair. So check out check out how much these earrings are gonna like bring up the formality and like the the look of this wig. So this already looks really, really nice, but now let's just add these like blingy earrings. Let's pop those in. And look how much more formal that already looks. I think that just looks so nice. These are just some really easy, fantastic tips for like, let's say you're at work one day and you're gonna go straight out to meet up with your friends or something right after work and you don't really have time to go home and change your outfit or your makeup or anything. You can just do all of this super quick with stuff you can just like carry on you regularly. Super simple tips. I love how these earrings make the squig look. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, let's try. I also have this bracelet I can wear to jazz it up a little bit. I also love this black dress because it's so dynamic too. I feel like for a daytime look, if I wear this with like a cardigan or a blazer, it looks a little bit more professional. But then if I wear it with like nothing on top or maybe something a little bit more funky, it's good for like a nighttime look. So again, this is such a nice look. Let me talk about fake lashes super quick because like I said before, I wouldn't necessarily wear fake lashes every single day or for if I was like going to work, I might not bother with them. But I do love wearing a dramatic lash for an evening look because I feel like it just brings your makeup look up to like a 10 no matter what, even if you don't have great makeup skills. I think fake lashes just make anything look that much more glamorous. And if you're not comfortable with lashes, some quick tips on that are, um, make sure when you first get a new pair of lashes, make sure the band is flexible. If something's not really going to bend easily to the shape of your eye, it's very hard to work with, especially if you're not used to wearing lashes. So make sure you're getting a quality lash that's gonna like form to your eye nicely. I can never go wrong wearing black, absolutely. Black is such a versatile color, it works with everything. Um, but yeah, with lashes, also make sure if you have a brand new pair of lashes, make sure you trim them to your eye shape. That always helps a lot. And as far as lash glue, if you're using traditional glue, don't use too much because that might cause it to um, get too goopy and be harder to work with. I love a quick dry lash glue because it's super simple and doesn't stay too like goopy and liquidy. And lastly, there are other some other fantastic options. Um, someone just mentioned magnetic lashes in the comments. Um, magnetic lashes, I do love. So there's a couple kinds of magnetic lashes. There's the kind where you have two separate strips and you kind of like sandwich your own lashes between them and they like hold together using your own eyelashes. However, if you're someone like me that doesn't have eyelashes, that doesn't work. So when magnetic lashes like that first came out, so many people were telling me about them, like, oh, you have to try these, this would be perfect for you, because they, they knew I struggled with regular lash glue back in the day. But un unfortunately, those do not work for people with alopecia. However, a couple years later, a bunch of brands came out with lash, li like, um, eyeliner. So it's like a regular black eyeliner that you, like, put on like regular eyeliner, and it's magnetic. So I'm not sure exactly how it works. I think it's like, um, like they put some sort of magnet something substance in the eye eyeliner and then the glue sorry the lash has like magnets on it and that just sticks right to the eyeliner so that's a fantastic option if you're not used to using glue i give this video some hearts if you guys liked it and um what do you guys think does this look good just some super easy tips for bringing your look from like a daytime to a nighttime look if you don't have time to like go home and change it up. You don't need to at all. You can just do it with whatever you're already wearing and just kind of spice it up a little bit more with a little bit of makeup. So again, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I, I always have so much fun coming live on here and answering and like talking to you guys live. Um, we go live multiple times a week with our different spokespeople on this channel, on the Instagram, and then we also have our YouTube channel, Renee of Paris. So if you want more wig tips and tutorials and styling tips like this, definitely go subscribe to the YouTube channel. So pretty, I'm definitely buying Kayla. Awesome, I'm so glad you love it. It's such an amazing new style. I pretty much love like every wig from the Amour line specifically. I feel like they're all just so natural, but like so many different types of styles too. They're super comfortable. But yeah, so definitely go subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want more wig tips and tutorials. Renee of Paris on YouTube. Um, there's some videos with me on there as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. So it's actually so funny because I'm doing this um, day to night makeup look on a Friday night. So it's actually like this is like the look I'm going to use to wear for my Friday night. So perfect timing for that. 
So I hope these tips can help any of you guys out tonight. Although I know many of us aren't really going out lately anyway, so there's that. But yeah, I hope some of these tips were helpful to you guys. And I hope you enjoy your weekend. Have a lovely weekend. And I will see you guys next time.